Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for one of the fastest Chanel one eye, one cheek, one lip looks I've ever done. Okay, so the reason this is a fast one is out of necessity. So we have already lost power a couple times here, so I wanted to finish this up before it completely goes because uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen. So quickly though, we have this beautiful blush here. This is the 797. So this is one of the two that they released. I also have this lip color here, number 150 in the Rouge Coco Bloom. And this is perfect for a fast get ready with me. So this was created for a quick, easy application. These are new, it's their first loose powder that they have created for eyeshadows according to the Chanel site. I have mine in 404. This is probably one of the quickest quickest eyes I've ever done. So let's go ahead and get started. Starting off with La Base Illuminatrice. I love this for priming and of course for a little bit of blurring. And although this is, although this is a one eye, one cheek, one lip, I'm using mostly Chanel products today. And I have to kind of review all of these foundations. I'm gonna do a ranking of them, especially for my skin type, but I think it'll help inform if you have more oily, or more dry skin as well. So we've got the Sublimage Le Ton by Chanel, and this is in my ideal shade in Chanel Foundations, BD41. So anytime there's BD41, that's the one I'm going to pick up first. This is such a lovely foundation too. So actually, I'm not sure how far off I am right now because of my tan. Just take a little. I haven't worn foundation foundation in such a long time, a proper foundation. Yeah, I'm slightly, a little bit more tan than BD41 right now. It's slightly light, but it's still the appropriate undertone, so it works. We're getting quite a bit of rain and wind. Hopefully the power stays on. I think just a little bit more to the center here. I wonder if you can actually hear the rain. If you hear something that sounds like rain, it's probably rain. Okay, and then we've got here the Sublimage course under eye concealer that I love in 40. So it's definitely got a cooler undertone here. So I'm gonna add, gosh, this is such a beautiful blush. I'm gonna put on here in a moment, can't wait. Uh, ooh, that was too much, see? That's too much. But I am gonna finish up this here, <laughs> gotta thin this out a little bit. Go in with the Clay de Peau concealer for my dark spots. Let me do my eyebrows as well. I'm gonna use the Dior products for the brows, their pencil and the gel. And then we'll get to the rest of the makeup. So let me quickly do that whole routine. We'll blend that in, don't worry. Hmm, honey, clay de peau. So always being able to go in with less foundation and spot conceal where needed. No need to cover up all of my skin to take the excess. I'll do really natural eyes, so I'm just gonna do that. The shadow is pretty opaque, so I'm not gonna worry about priming too much. Actually, I was texting somebody, and while I was doing that, uh, our lights just went out. Electricity, everything. So uh, we'll see how far we make it today. Otherwise, there's refilming that's gonna happen. We're gonna cross our fingers and see see how much we can get done. So I'm gonna move kind of fast here and do brows. Um, so friend had lost power last night and they said that uh, the same thing that happened to us where the lights just went off and then on and then off and then on she said after that it went out all night i want to finish this before we <laughs> before we lose power okay so we've got here this uh, eyeshadow product it's a powdered cream i believe um i just looked up really fast i had a little bit of a connection to see how to use it because i played with this once and i did have a little fallout so i'm just tapping this a little bit just to get rid of any possible fallout. It says it's a really fast application, which is perfect for this. So I'm just applying it really close to the lash line and then I'm gonna smudge it out here with just my clean hands because fast makeup for me usually does not involve brushes. So I noticed that the shades were quite rich. Like there was a burgundy tone to many of the shades that I saw and then also like a goldish shade. I'm just gonna build a little dimension really quickly here. And I love this because it reminds me of uh, like a fall version of what I was doing in the summer. That was really fast and that's beautiful. So I like the idea of this. Again, just focusing it more towards that 
the lash line first and then smudging out. Now it seems a little bit like this might be the trickiest part here is just making sure that this is nice and uh, blended. So it's a gradual. So I can see how if this is placed on really heavily, uh, it might be harder to blend this out in a really nice, smooth way. So then we're just gonna add mascara. That is literally it with this. I think it's so pretty. Okay, mascara, let me find some. Definitely feel like I'm working against a clock here. Fossey Long Slash Mascara. While I was also texting, I um, went ahead with Victoria Beckham's a contour in marble as a bronzer contour right under the cheekbones, under the jawline, and I took the excess on my forehead. I also powdered with Post, not faux seal, gosh. I also powdered with the Perfect Blur Powder by Chantecaille. Won't be able to use as much time here with this. Let me see, okay, eyes are done. Such a pretty eye, lovely one and done. I'm gonna take Trench though right under. When I stumble upon Trench, we're putting it underneath, but I'm gonna keep going because I think we should keep going. Okay, we're gonna use this beautiful blush. This is so pretty. It's. 797, I know some of you picked up both shades. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna use this mini Kabuki brush by Ray Morris. I get a lot of questions about this brush. It's the, oh, that's a lovely muted coral. It's not like a bright coral, but it's a lovely muted tone. Oh, makes me wonder if it's like, um, what was that one? Brown Rouge, maybe, reminds me of that. Like apricot-y, kind of burnt apricot. Let me see what I can pull out that reminds me of this blush, but it's beautiful. I love the way it's applying. It's like a baked gelée performance kind of thing. There's a bit of a glow, just a hint of a glow, nothing too much. Like um, Jersey has more glow than this. And I don't know where it's coming from. It might be within the blush. I'm not sure, but that's beautiful. Ooh, this is gonna be really pretty when I want cheek on it. Oh, what was I saying? And I went in with, oh, Chantecaille's Perfect Blur Powder. That's what I was saying. I do have a little darkness in there. What's that? I have to make sure not to touch the rest of my face with that, uh, the residue of that eye, eyeshadow. Beautiful blush. That is gorgeous. So if you picked this up, you probably love it. I don't know if I need the mauve. I don't know. I'm still debating. Maybe I'll pick it up. But this is the kind of blush I get really excited about. I love this kind of formula. I love this performance. It's beautiful. Effortless. Beautiful. Let's go with the lip. So we've got here Bloom in 150Es. I thought it was a really pretty honey-toned lip. And let's see how it looks. Ooh, yes, it is honey-toned. I think it goes really well with this blush. It's a Rouge Coco Bloom formula. Ooh. Found Trench. Okay, so quick recap here. Love this blush. If you wanted to get it, we're thinking about it. It's definitely one of the prettiest blushes I've tried this year. It's lovely. I love the tone. I love the way it applied. You can see I didn't refine it too much. I didn't have much time to do that, but it looks really beautiful as if it were one with the skin. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I did add a little a bit, a little bit of La Prairie there, uh, like I normally do. I think I skipped over that really fast. And then let's talk about this lip color. It's a lovely formula, the Rouge Coco Blooms. Love this, great color, uh, just warm enough for me. If it were any warmer, it might look orange on me, which is kind of funny because I have a cool toned lips, but my overall skin tone is warm, so it meshes really nicely with my overall skin tone. And it actually looks quite similar to this shade here. So I don't know if I did that on purpose. I can't remember if I did that on purpose or not. Maybe. And then we've got this. So let's do this since I have time and we still have electricity. I'm gonna just remove a little, I'm gonna go a little bit more intense here just to see how we can build this up because it said you could add two layers for intensity. So let's just do that since we have some light. And let me just show you the side by side here. I can see how layering these would be beautiful. So this is a really beautiful product. It just takes a little bit of thought though to make sure those extra particles don't end up everywhere. So just making sure to knock off the excess 
because the first time I tried this, I could feel the little particles fall on my face. So I definitely know that that can happen, but also mitigating it. Just by doing this, you can get those extra loose particles off of there. But it's a really, I hope they keep these because I think they're beautiful. I love some cooler tone. It seemed like they had a, some very rich, like burgundy-ish tones from what I could see. Rose gold, there's that gold. I love some cooler tones here. I picked this because I thought it was actually going to be cooler than this, but it's beautiful. I'm glad I picked this shade up. So I don't know, like I said, if this is permanent or not, but I love the ease of use here. It's very smooth, lovely. And then um, we could go, oh, that's a lot already. Then we could also go underneath a little bit, just to connect if you want, just slightly. Okay, glad we have a little chance to play here for those who want a little bit more visibility on your eyeshadow. Like for me, at this point, this would be evening. Okay, so I'm glad I got to show you that a little bit intensified, but I was happy with all of the products. Eyes, cheeks, lips, love them all, love their formulas, love the shades that I picked. There were a few blushes that I have that reminded me of this blush in case you have them too and you wanted a reference point. So let's go ahead and look at them and swatch them. This first one is Peche Rosé. And then we've got, of course, the one that I tried on today, 797. And this comes from the same collection as Peche Rosé. This is Brun Rousy. And then finally, there is this one, Brun Rouge. So you can see that this has the most bright tone to it. It's kind of in between these two in terms of the level of deepness but then it doesn't have as much brown as these two over here and it's much more intense than this one but that is it for today's video so please take care of each other stay well if you enjoyed this video if you learned something please give it a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you next